And I think tomorrow I have like, I think like 30 head of cattle and pigs waiting for me. So hey, livestock animal, definitely worth it. <laughs> we need you to post that on the Facebook group for livestock and, <laughs> and post it on the animal chiropractic. We've got, I think I've got five people signed up for animal care for food animal right now. We'd like to get a couple more, see if we can fill it in a little bit. Yeah, because honestly, I mean, I could probably answer the phone. Hi, I'm Dr. Molly, the livestock chiropractor, because that's what they're like. Are you the cow chiropractor? Are you the pig chiropractor? I'm like, yep, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's awesome. I honestly like I do a lot of horses, but I as far as dogs go, I might see like maybe 10 or 15 dogs. I really don't see that many dogs or cats. It's all. Is this like in a week or in a month, 10 or 15? No, just like, honestly, since I started adjusting, I don't see that many dogs. I'm like, most of my stuff is large animal livestock. That's fabulous. So I even have goats, sheep, a few random chickens in there. <laughs> yeah. So. No, that's but, that's fabulous. Yeah. That's great. Definitely worth it. So I think I, for what I've paid for the class, I've probably made several times that amount <laughs> that it costed me. So and this is in Iowa of all places where people yeah. would think <laughs> those old farmers aren't gonna have anybody touch their stuff. Oh no. No. Well, and there's not a whole lot of animals there compared to what there used to be. Yeah. <laughs> because yep. everything's cropland. Yeah. So. Yeah, because I mean, as far as like my animals go, I'm probably like, eh, probably like 40% horses and then the other like 40 or probably pigs and cattle and then the other little bit of that is all my miscellaneous sheep and goats and stuff that's great so of your total production income how does your people practice compare to your animal practice um it's kind of, I bet I'm probably like 60% animal and 40% people as far as like income goes, but I charge more per, like I charge a hundred dollars per calf, whereas like my human price is 45. So I mean. So you see more an humans, but you make more with the animals. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. And so, and like, it's kind of funny because I mean, as far as people, I'm pretty average, but like animal wise, I'm the most expensive person in the area. And I still like, I'm plenty busy. <laughs> yeah, sounds like so, it. Yeah. And I mean, I don't, even on my human side, I don't do any discounts or anything like that. Like my fee is just my fee, unless you want to do like the hourly is really the only type of discount or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So f like for your cattle, you do them, or pigs, you do them hour hourly if they've got a big group? Yep. Yep. Cause I, uh, I guess I make sure to explain to them that they probably should have pigs ready to go or cattle ready to go <laughs> if we're doing that. Um, but I mean, like I have some cattle people that, they're totally fine with writing me a $1,500 check and like, <laughs> it's just okay. Like that's normal to them. So, but yeah, cause I had, I had a bunch of calves that they all went to the junior nationals and I figured it up. And of all the like show calves that I've adjusted that have gone to like shows here and there, I think like 85% of them end up in like the final drive that they do. Oh, wow. And you, yeah, like it was really funny at County Fair because I'm sitting there with 
one of the guys that I do a bunch of like they sell all the club calves and he's like which calf you know first and second for the final drive and I'm like well I like this one I worked on that one and then the second one he's like oh I think it's the red calf I'm like no it's the gray like the roan calf that was another one that I worked on <laughs> it's like are you kidding me and nope I, I can pick calves like nobody's business but if you just know what normal biomechanics is, it's a, yeah, <laughs> a that long way. A big difference. <laughs> yeah. So it was kind of funny, but no, that's because there was I'm trying to think. Cause so then we had the showdown too, which is like all the champions and stuff. And there's a market and a breeding champion from like each of the species and I think I worked on seven animals that day, or like they had been seven of my clients, and six of them won, and there's only eight champions total throughout the species for all day. Oh, so, wow. So, like, I will take that and run, and the other calf that I worked on that didn't win, I mean, they were in the same class, so what do you do? <laughs> yeah, they can only pick one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so... Yes. Food animal, just go do it. <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> That's great. That's